What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a King Gambit and Weakness Policy Dragonite team for Regulation H. Now, let's talk about King Gambit first and foremost because this is one of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 9. On top of that, we didn't really get to see it too much in Regulation G, but now that Regulation H is coming and the power level is dropping, King Gambit is going to be right back in the meta as a top tier Pokemon. King Gambit's got the Defiant ability, which is Elite, up against Intimidate users such as Incineroar or even Landorus. I mean, Landorus is in Regulation H, but we're going to be seeing a lot of Incineroar. On top of that, it is holding the Black Glasses to boost its Dark-type moves. It's got Flying Terror-type with Protect, Kowtow Cleave, Iron Head, and Sucker Punch, arguably the best move set for King Gambit. Like I mentioned earlier, we have Weakness Policy Dragonite, and this combo goes a little crazy. You got Dragonite, you got Raichu. You can Normal Terror Dragonite and use E-Speed, and then with Raichu, you can then use Upper Hand to get priority on Extreme Speed. Ultimately, Proc and Dragonite's Weakness Policy, making it plus two in attack, dropping Normal Terror E-Speeds, doing big time damage. So, we like that combo. I'm super excited to be using that. Our final three Pokemon on today's team feature Rillaboom, Frigoraph, and Amoongus, three meta Pokemon. Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things, Frigoraph being a nice little support Pokemon, and actually this one has Nasty Bot, so I can set up Nasty Bot, go plus two on special attack and do some big time damage, and then Amoongus supporting, sporing, Rage Powder, all that good stuff. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match, showcasing this King Gambit and Weakness Policy Dragonite team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first match, we're going up against a T-Tar Sandstorm team. Now, this could be a little annoying considering we don't have any weather control, but I feel like we can deal with it. They also have Berserker, who's a dope Pokemon, Porygon Z, they got Alolan Ninetales, and Golden Go. What do I want to do here? Because a problem here is going to be T-Tar and Lycanroc, and I can't go into, like, this combo right here as much as I want to. Go into Raichu and Dragonite. I feel like King Gambit has to be our lead. So I'm going to end up leading King Gambit. I feel like he could do a lot of damage up against a lot of different Pokemon. Um, hmm. On top of that, I mean, I could lead Raichu just for like helping hand support. Maybe like a fake out turn one. That could be pretty good for us. Yeah, and I'm all for that. I'm all for the fake out turn one. So I'm going to go Raichu. I am going to go King Gambit. Um, for late game, I feel like for Rigoraf could be good, especially if we could set up a nasty plot. Do we maybe just go like Amoongus or do we go like Rillaboom? I feel like we gotta go Rillaboom. Yeah, Rillaboom could be be really nice, especially up against those uh those two Sandstorm Pokemon. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. King Gambit here in match number one. Dragonite riding the pine, sitting on the bench. We're not using it. Looking for a win here. Hopefully we can get it for you guys. Hopefully we can get this video started off strong. But yeah, I just don't know how I feel about going up against this squad right here, right? T Tar like and Rock's pretty strong. That's why I kinda want to lead Raichu. I can fake out and get rid of the Focus Ash because you don't want to bring Lycanroc down to Focus Ash, right? And they're going to go into these two, which is fine. I mean, I think faking out uh, what's called is best for us, Lycanroc. Because again, I don't want it to be Focus Ash. I might just double down on Lycanroc here. Because you might swap into Titar here. Yeah, I'm just going to double down on Lycanroc. See if I can get rid of it. Hopefully no Protect. I'm hoping. Usually they don't really run Protect because they're always outspeeding. But the reason you want to just, uh, oh, you're going to swap that out. Who are you going into? Titar from here? What you got on this slot? Hopefully you protect the PZ. You're gonna go nine tails. This isn't a bad turn for us. Not a bad turn because Iron Head's still super effective. Actually, Iron Head might be four times super effective. This could be really good for us. But back to what I was saying, you don't want to leave Viking Rock on uh, Focus Ash because it has to Endeavor and it will just put all your Pokemon on one HP. But we're gonna end up seeing an Ice Terror here. So this seems like it's gotta be like a Blizzard drop from from PZ, correct? Yeah, Blizzard's gonna fly here. If you freeze my King Gambit, I'm gonna be very upset. Wow, that did some damage. That did a lot of damage. A bit too much damage. Iron Head's gonna launch. It should KO. Yep, we get rid of Nine Tails. So that's good news. Especially if that's our only weather user, but I doubt it is, right? I really doubt it is. Let's see if they go into Lycan Rock. I'm curious to see. PZ's just being a pain in the neck right now. They do go back into Lycan Rock. A little scary. Um, we're going to Sucker Punch. I think I should just protect this turn. And maybe just try to go for a Thunderbolt into the PZ slot. Maybe try to get a Paralyze. That could be huge. But honestly, Lycanroc might outspeed us. We're going to end up protecting here. I do go first. Give me a Paralyze here. Give me a nice little Para. That's some nice damage. We don't get the Para. Rock Slide's going to fly here. And my shoe's going to go out. Um, Slight issue. Nothing crazy. I mean... 
could go into Rillaboom here. Rillaboom could be nice because we could fake out the PZ and just try to get rid of it. But honestly, Sucker Punch might just be able to KO. That's really what I'm hoping. And we can just fake out the Lycan Rock. And Grass Glide it next turn. That's not bad play for us. Um, yeah, save the Frigoraph, because Frigoraph could be clutch. We do have Fire Terror type. We don't really need the Terrasalize right now, because I got Flying and Fire up against Rock. We really don't want that. So, now Real Boom's going to be the play. And the question is, can Sucker Punch KO? Poor God, that's, that's the real question here. I mean, I got the Black Glasses. I think it should be able to, considering Thunderbolt did that much damage. Let me see your stats real quick. Are you boosted out on attack? Yeah, you're maxed out on attack. You're maxed out on speed. Special attack, but this is 205 attack. Sucker Punch should KO. I'm not gonna think, not gonna overthink it with the black glass as well. And then we're just gonna fake out the Lycan Rock. Try to get rid of its Focus Sash. I'm cool with that. Ends up withdrawing Porygon, so we lose out on turn there. Hopefully, this fake out is gonna rip here. Because this gotta be T Tar, right? Yep, T Tar on the field. So, weather back in their favor. We still have terrain, which is good. Fake out is gonna launch, which is good news. We get rid of your Sash if you do have it. Sucker Punch gonna get blocked. So I'm thinking Grass Glide should be able to pick up the KO. And I'm really hoping it does. Because if I can pick up the KO with Grassy Glide, then. Oh, please do not get go back to full. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, please do not go back to full there. Then you get your focus ash. But yeah, if Grassy Glide can KO here, then our King Gamer can stay on the field a little longer. Which I think it should. Like Rock's not bulky at all. It's not bulky at all. And yet we do end up KOing. So that's beautiful. That is beautiful. They, they already used their terror, so we didn't have to worry about that. Iron Head's going to launch in this slot, and then I can Sucker Punch the, the Porygon, but I'm dead to that. Surprised you outsped me. Kind of hate it. Alright, so we're down to Farigoraph. They could go for Blizzard, but no Snow left. I don't mind Farigoraph, considering things look pretty powerful. Um, I could maybe Nasty plus, Plot Boost if I want to. I could Grass Glide the T-Tar, do some damage into that. But I just feel as this... Porygon is looking like a tough time. In all honesty, it's looking like a tough time. I kind of want a nasty spot here. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. I'm going to nasty spot. Do I just grassy guide here? I'm going to hope that grassy guide can pick up a KO. It's neutral. It's neutral. Y you have quick claw? You have quick claw, but grass guy goes first. It does pick up the KO. That's massive. All right, now we're sitting in a way better position. I was just more scared of the Porygon Z that whole match because I was just like, this thing's hitting hard. He's hitting hard right now, especially Blizzard. This thing had quick claw though. Rockside's gonna launch, do and get a crit on my Frigoraph, and my Frigoraph flinches. How much RNG is that? Quick claw activate it. You land it both of those. You get a crit, and I flinch. That's four different RNG situations all landing. Quick Claw activation, both Rock Slides landing, critical hit, and a flinch! That is absurd, but now I'm going to Terrasalize Slides in the Fairy, just get some damage boost here. Launch another Grass Glide, and this should be game, right? We should be wrapping it up. We should be wrapping it up. But yeah, I like this Frigoraph. Frigoraph actually hits pretty hard, so... I'm excited. I'm excited to be using it the rest of this video. But this is going to be a 1-0 start for us, unless you Quick Claw activate again. Alright, cool. No Quick Claw. Grassy Glide does great damage. And Knockoff's gonna fly. We soak that. That does great damage, too. But, Choreograph with the Fairy Terror. Gonna say Night Night with the Stats of Gleam. GG's to our opponent. We're starting off things 1-0. So, guys, first match went perfectly. We went up against a team with no Legendaries, no Paradox Pokemon. But now, we're getting it all. Mythical, Legendaries, and that's it. I mean, they got... I don't even know how to pronounce that Pokemon. Keldeo? I think it's Keldeo. With Kieran White, Regilecki, Alola Ninetales. On top of that, they got Ursaluna and Hisui and Guja. Now, this one is going to struggle us up, considering Kieran White and Ninetales are just a big threat to us. But to be honest, I think going into like Raichu, maybe with Dragonite, and trying to pull off this combo could actually be great for us. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into both of them. Let's just start dumping on Pokemon. In the back end, we could go in with King Gambit, which I like. And last but not least, we are going to end up going into Frigoraph. Maybe a Moongus could be good, but you know what? I like this. I like this. I think I'm just more worried about the Kiram and Ninetales combo. That seems like they're bread and butter. And if they lead that, we're going to have a tough time. So I have to play up against it. But we're sitting 1-0 already. Hopefully, we can put up a fight in this match right here. Because I don't have any Legendaries. Or even Mythicals. If they bring Keldeo, I'm going to be very upset. Because that Pokemon hits like a truck. <laughs> he hits like an absolute truck. Let's see what you got. 
He's gonna end up leading Kiram in nine tails. This is this is what I was what I was seeing. This is what I was seeing. So I think we might want to go for upper hand combo here. Could just try to take out the nine tails. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. We're gonna go upper hand into our Dragonite. We're gonna fast slide. We're gonna go for each speed into into this nine tails. Try to KO it because. The reason I want to get rid of this thing first is I don't want him setting up a I don't want it setting up a, a war bell. And if I can KO it and then have next turn, if I can soak up the shots, I can help in hand my Dragonite being plus two normal Terra and just start ripping with E speeds. That's my hopes. That's my hopes here. To just KO the Nine Tails turn one. So I'll terrestrialize the Dragonite. Upper hand gonna fly. Bop. Do respectable damage. But now I'm chilling here. Plus two. Plus two attack, E speed, normal terror. Dragonite's hitting hard. Ain't playing around. E Speed's launching. Get rid of this nine tails. Please don't be focused. That should be like late late or something. Don't even bring it down to like one. Wow. My plan's over. My plan's over. My Dragonite's probably dead here. Blizzard launching. I'm able to soak. We just and uh, okay. Is this how we're, is this what we're doing today? Is this what we're doing today? Okay, cool. Just what I want it. Just what I want it. Just what I want it. Okay, cool. Just what I want. It. I'm gonna try to get rid of this nine tails. Of course, I'm frozen solid. Well, I really wanted this E speed to do a lot more damage than it did. But Thunderbolt flies leaves you on one. I I can't do anything today. Can't do anything today. Rough. After that, quick claw. Thing going on with Titar now our RNG is just straight in the trash. The double blizzard gonna connect obviously 100% accurate in the snow, and now we're sitting in a terrible position because that was my whole like that was my whole bread and butter here. I really need to get rid of that nine tails. I really need to get rid of nine tails. But now I'm sitting here. Um, I think I might need a nasty plot. I might need a plot up here. Sucker punch the nine tails. Get rid of that nasty plot up. I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm all in. I have to plot up here. It's our chance to plot up because we're going to be KOing this Nine Tails. But again, they have a War Bell, which is just terrible. And is this, is this Ice? Is this Ice Terra? This is going to be Ice Terra. Dragon Terra. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Give me a shot here. Dragon Terra coming in here. Are you using a dragon move? That's the real question. Sucker Punch launch just picks up the KO. Um, thing is, like, we set up Nasty Pot, like, Aurora Veil negates a lot of that damage. And Fusion Fire gonna launch. Oh, man. Bye bye, Gambo. Oh, Gambo survived. Hold up. We here. Nasty Pot set up full HP on my Farigarath. Get it, Farigis. Get it, Farigis. Reg Lecky flies out here. I think we gotta sucker punch that. I think we have to sucker punch that. This thing's a little lightweight, and I'm hoping I can. Oh, I don't have Terra anymore. I totally forgot I used Terra. I totally forgot I used Terra. I really wanted our Terra, but I think we gotta go sucker punch here. We have to launch a dazzling blade. We're nasty plot it. But the only problem here is like Overwar Veil's out. So sucker punch doing really good damage. Electro Ball gonna launch. I did, he's going to KO you. And Frigi is being plus two. How much damage can you do? Ice burn. You're launching ice burn. A little bit of ice burn action. And are you power herb? You're power herb. I dodge it though. Hold up. Get it. Get it, Frigi's. Get it, Frigi's. Hold up. Hold up. We get a crit on the Kiram. So another, another, another Dazzle Gleam will KO this thing. Hold up, Frigi's. Putting up a fight. They're going to their final Pokemon. It's gonna be Gutra. <laughs> this one's looking a little tough. But they don't have Terra, so I mean. Asim Gleam's gotta land. Then we can like psychic noise if you're leftovers. Hold up. Give me a second. Let me cook. Blizzard's gonna connect. Ouch. That's some damage. I got berry though. I got berry though. Can't forget about the berry. Going back up the half. Prograph out speed. You don't. Heavy slam flies through here. We soak rather well. Hold up. 
You think Fergie's playing around? Do you think Fergie's playing around? Do they have a war bell though? Really tough. Are you leftovers? That's the real question. You are. So Psychic Noise is going to help us out deal with that. Alright, Fergie. Let's get it. How many turns are left in this war bell? That's the real question. Three. Oh my lord. I don't even have Protect. I got a Psychic Noise this thing though. I can't allow it to heal. Outrage is going to finish it off though. Yeah. Outrage. Big time damage. Came close to that one. Thought my Fergie could clutch up. Legendary Pokemon just getting the best of us. I know, I know. I'm with you guys. We were all rooting for that Frigga Ramp in match number two. Obviously, we want to beat that Kirim up because using legendary Pokemon up against non-legendary teams, kind of annoying. But the third and final match is looking pretty good for us. They got Pikachu. They got Dragonite. They got Frigga Ramp just like us. Sylveon alongside with Pelipper and Garchomp. I think we can do a little bit better here with Dragonite and Raichu. I think this can work better up against these Pokemon. They're a bit less bulkier. We can do some nice damage. It is something I like. I do like King Gambit for late game. And last but not least, I think Frick Raft has served a spot on this squad here. Especially because, I mean, they have two Dragon type Pokemon. With that Fairy type, it could be really good. Pikachu, looking a tad bit scary, but you have Lightning Rod, don't you? You do. Okay, cool. So I was going to say, a little bit like Volt Tackle Pikachu. We don't want to deal with that. Or, uh, what is it? Holds the Light Ball. Like, doubles the special attack, so... That's scary. That is totally scary. But we're sitting 1-1. One one. Wish we would have went 2-0. Oh. I mean, Frigraf was killing it in that last match. And then they sent out Hisui and Gudra. I was like, dang, this thing's super bulky, especially behind a War Veil. Like, that Pokemon's bulky enough without a War Veil. Give it a War Veil, it was just not looking good for us. But they end up throwing out Pikachu. Oh, wait a minute. Are you doing the same thing as me? Are you doing the same thing as me? Because I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going to get rid of this Pikachu. I really don't feel like dealing with it. Are you doing the same thing as me? That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Awesome way to finish off today's video. Are you doing the same thing as me just with Pikachu? I don't know if Pikachu learns upper hand. I know Pikachu learns fake out. I kind of hope they fake out my... My Dragonite. Let's see. What we got here? Protects their Dragonite. That's actually huge for us. That's actually huge. So they protect their Dragonite. We go for upper hand. Bop. That one did a huge chunk of damage. Why that one do so much more than the last one? It got a crit. Okay, makes sense. Lovely. I'm critting my own Pokemon nowadays. I'm critting my own Pokemon. It's a plus two Dragonite. Pikachu's a little lightweight. He's gonna go for a fake out. That's fine. My boy Raichu already used his move. And he's speed launching. How much damage are we doing? You sashing? You're sashing. Alright. Dude's got the focus sash. Dude has got the Focus Ash. Um, I don't really mind you being like that. I mean, I have first time priority Pokemon in the back end, so I'm just going to go Helping Hand into our Dragonite and look to just boost his E-Speed, do a huge chunk of damage onto their Dragonite. But they're going to Terrestrialize their Dragonite? You better not be Ghost. Normal. Okay, so we're all on the same page here. We are all on the same page. We are on the same page right now. Helping hand launch, and hopefully my E-Speed goes first. I really don't want them E-Speeding KO me. And he's going for upper hand. He's doing the same thing as me! Hold up! Yo! <laughs> Come on, Dragonite. I need my Dragonite to go first. Come on, Jean's Dragonite. Outspeed him. Yes! Take him out. Yes! Yo, that's so sick, because I haven't seen this combo on this Dragonite in... I think I've seen it, like, once, like, a, a year ago. Maybe two years ago. And it's so funny, I used it today, that we go up against the exact same combo. Just without Raichu and Pikachu. But yes, we wasted out their Terra. We wasted out their Weakness Policy. Wasted out their Dragonite. Things are looking up from here. Things are looking good. Good work, Dragonite. I, that's all I needed. I need you to outspeed. I feel like whoever's Dragonite outsped there was like really taking away the game because now we got a plus two Dragonite just chilling on the field. The so Pikachu's kind of just staring there, <laughs> looking at me all menacingly. He's like, he's like, you killed my Dragonite, you killed my boy. But I think our opponent might have threw their controller through the wall in a casual match. Sounds about right. Not moving anymore. Like really, my Dragonite's EV invested perfectly. 
You should be out speeding them. Nah, dude, my Dragonite's just 10 times better. Come on, pick a Pokemon. I got things to do today. Even though, obviously, I want to record, but I do this every day. I love it. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, get on top of that. Now's a great time to subscribe. Now's a great time to subscribe. There hasn't been a better time to subscribe. If you haven't liked up this video, toss a like on it. You made it this far. It's third, third and final match. You gotta do that. But, um, hmm. Does Pikachu get Lightning Rod? I believe it does. Um, maybe we just simply just protect you and swap or ride you into, like, Friggy? we go Friggy here? Yeah, we're gonna go Friggy. Actually, we're gonna go King Gambo. Actually, no, we're gonna go Friggy. I'm not dealing with those ground-type moves. I simply am not, because I can see a Protect from Pikachu this turn and maybe, like, an EQ Fly. That would be a good play. That would be a good play. Or maybe even a Protect from Garchomp. I seriously don't think our opponents play anymore. They're, they're just taking six years to actually attack. No, they're definitely playing now. All right, so we which all uh, Raichu. Gonna go into Farigis, the giraffe. Melman from Madagascar, if you guys ever seen that movie. Round of applause for you. And there's a Protect from Chomp. That's totally fine. So I'm protecting my Dragonite, and if I had to guess, your Pikachu's attacking my Dragonite. Your Pika Peak's attacking my Dragonite. Endeavor, oh. Hold up. Actually, that's fine. I mean, you would just keep my Dragonite alive at that point. So I don't mind. So I'm gonna go E-Speed here, and I'm just helping hand boost this. Actually, I might just Nasty Plot. No, we're gonna Gleam. We're gonna Gleam. We gotta get rid of Pikachu. I'm not leaving this Pikachu on the field just to Endeavor me around. Oh, cool. And they finally cancel match. So Dragonite Raichu combo coming in clutch. We beat their Pikachu Dragonite combo. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. King Gambit and Weakness Policy Dragonite showing out today. Love this team so much. I mean, I had a lot of fun with it, especially with this special attack in Furigraph with Nasty Plot. Kind of threw off a few opponents, almost clutched up in match number two with it. That would have been absolutely awesome. But this team all around was awesome. King Gambit doing big time damage like it always does. Weakness Policy Dragonite throwing off opponents. And then you have like Pokemon like Rillaboom and Amoongus. Just like hold this team together you get those meta pokemon just makes this team the best that it could possibly be but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positive day and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody